pyramid primitive. We can make a pyramid, which is a straight line segments, and the edges converge at a single point, and like the pyramids of Egypt. And we're going to go up and choose the pyramid command, and it'll ask us for a center point. And I'll say it's at 0, 0, 0, and I'll hit enter. And then it'll say, what is the base radius of that? And I'm going to say, you know, it's 10. And I'm going to hit tab and say it's at 90 degrees. And then what is the height? And I'll say, oh, the height is 20. And there we are. We have a pyramid. All right. And let's erase that. And let's go up to the pyramid command again. And so we can pick any center point. And then it'll ask us for the base radius or inscribed. If I click on inscribed, it'll say, all right, uh, what is the base radius for the inscribed or circumscribed? So we can switch between inscribed and circumscribed. Inscribed means it's on the inside of the cir imaginary circle. Circumscribed means it's on the outside of the imaginary circle. Then we can pick our base radius. I'll say it's 10. And then we can pick our height. I'll say it's 40. Okay. So we can change the number of sides. I can go up to the pyramid and go to sides and say I want a six-sided pyramid. All right. So I pick the center point. And you can see I have six sides right now. And then, boom. And, you know, I'll spin it around here. And we'll take a look from the bottom just so you can see the bottom here. And you can see four sides, six sides. Okay. So, now, we do have another option here to, whoop, wrong button here. Let's go and delete that out of there. And let's go up to the pyramid. And let's go with the edge option. Let's pick on the edge. So now I'm picking the first endpoint of edge. So I'm actually drawing one length of the edge of the sides of the pyramid. So right now I have six sides. So I'm going to say, oh, I want it to be 40. 40 inches long, and there's my edge. Now I want the height to be 100, and there's my pyramid. All right. Now, we also can truncate a pyramid. So I'm going to go up, and I'm going to set my sides back to 4. And I'm going to pick my center point at 0, 0, 0. And I'm going to say I want to have a, let's say, a 10-inch radius. And I'm going to come down and go to top radius. And I'm going to set my top radius to say 2. And now I drag up. And I go to say 20 inch high pyramid. You can see that I have a, a 2 inch radius at the top truncated. So it's cut off. Truncated means it's cut off. So I can do a truncated pyramid as well. So the pyramid essentially is any number of sides, and we can pick the center, or we can pick one of the edges. We can have it go to a point, or we could have it uh, truncated. And truncated is we enter a top radius option. So remember the pyramid is found up here in the uh, panel uh, or modeling panel. And we go with the pyramid.